So we are just going over some graphing calculator stuff. We typed in our mixed number as 1 and 3 fourths in parentheses minus 2 and 7 fifths. It spit out a decimal. Who remembers how to change a decimal into a fraction? Grace, tell me. You hit math, the math key, and then number 1. And then you just hit enter, and that will change any decimal answer into a fraction in lowest uh, in simplest form. Okay? It will be improper, but that's fine. You can leave all your answers as improper fractions, but they have to be simplified, but the calculator does it for you. On number two, the correct answer was 17 over 225. So remember talking about typing this in correctly. You want to put everything in the numerator in a parenthesis, and then everything in the denominator in a parenthesis. So I open parenthesis, 3 minus 4 times 5 close parenthesis divided by and then open your parenthesis 4 to the third how do you raise something to the third power yeah you're going to use that carrot key right there so there's 4 to the third minus 17 and then there is a button for squared because we do it so much it's right here you just hit squared and close your parenthesis so there's the numerator divided by the denominator you hit enter, you get some nasty decimal. Again, I asked you for a fraction. So hopefully you remember, if you did it on number one, you should be able to do it on number two. Math, number one, hit enter. There it is in simplest form, 17 over 225. Okay, so now let's recap how to solve a system like I have down here at the bottom. When you're solving a system, remember that these are just two lines and wherever they intersect is your solution. So where do I enter lines on the calculator? Y, y equals, exactly. So I'm going to hit the Y equals button. Now you probably have some old stuff from yesterday. You can clear out the old stuff. Make sure plot 1, 2, and 3 along the top are not darkened. So your screen should look exactly like my screen. <laughs> if it looks like this, then you want to go up and turn that plot off because you don't want any of those plots on. So you just use the arrow key. So you want to make sure that they are all normal looking like they are right now. And then I just type in the two equations, 3. And then where's the X button? Alpha. It's right next to the green alpha key. So that's the button that we use for X. 3, X minus 2. And then use your arrow key to go to the second one, negative 1 fourth. Remember, there's a difference between the negative key and the minus key. The negative button is under the 3. When you want negative, you use that. So negative 1 fourth x plus 5. There are my two equations entered. Everything's great. When you hit graph, remember, I have no idea what I'm going to see. Someone could have zoomed in on any part of the coordinate plane that they wanted to. So you can hit graph, but who knows what you're going to see. You might get lucky, lucky like I am, and I see everything that I wanted. That's okay. Did you? Well, you shouldn't have an error already. Error window range. So if, you're, if anything is weird, you're just going to go ahead and hit zoom. And then choice, you remember from yesterday? Six. Six. That always sets you back to negative 10 to positive 10. Did that fix your error? Zoom six. Now, your lines may not cross in there. We got lucky and my lines do cross here, right? So there will, we'll talk today about how to change that window if I need to see something else that's not in the screen. But right now, that's fine. So how do you figure that out? I'll tell you. We haven't done that yet. So now I remember from yesterday how I ask the calculator to tell me the exact point where those two lines cross. What do I hit? Second. Second. Yeah, remember we're trying to access that calc menu. So second calc and then it's choice five for intersect, right? Because I'm trying to figure out where they intersect. Now I'll just ask you these questions you don't even care. You just hit enter, enter, enter. And then there is your intersection down below. So 2.15 comma 4.46. Something close to that. 
How'd you do? So let me give you, since that was the one that seemed to be a little bit tougher. You did second calc, yep. choice five, and then you hit enter three times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. 